So I get this question on a daily basis. What the hell is going to happen in the real estate market? Now, a part of that question, there's three that I've noticed that come up the most. Should I buy now? What are interest rates going to do? And are prices going to go even further down? And where? Now, honestly, nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the real estate market. It's cyclical. It's cyc cyclical. We have data that we could go off of, which is what I do. I go off of a daily and weekly monthly trends of what I see. And that's how I advise my clients. Now, should I buy now? I've said it before. If your finances are in order and you are able to purchase, absolutely. Because what happened six months ago, seven months ago, when interest rates were super low, we had no inventory. You were fighting for a house. You were bidding, overbidding for homes and still not getting them possibly. If that happens again, the same trend's going to happen. If we automatically go to a lower interest rate, the same thing's going to happen. In Inventory's going to shoot down because buyers are going to want to buy again. But if you are capable and able to do it now, you have your pick of homes. And I advise my clients, if they do do that, when interest rates do go down, refinance because there is the looming question of recession, right? Every recession since 1973, we have been, our, our interest rates have gone down. So I'm gonna put up a, a, a picture right now and I'm gonna explain what, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. So since 1973, it went from December 1973 to March 1975, 1.3 years. The interest rate went from 10% to 8%. Recession from February to July 1980, six months. Interest rate went from 15% to 12%. Recession August 1981 to December 1982, 1 1.4 years. Interest rate went from 15.5% to 13%. Recession from July 1990 to April 1991, which was 10 months, interest rate went, went down from 10% to 9%. March of 2021 to October 2021, eight months, interest rate went down from 8% to 6%. And most recently, December 2007 to May 2009, which was 1.5 years, the interest rate went from 6% to four percent right now we're sitting at about 7.5 percent and we're looking to go up now if we look at these trends our recession is looming we don't know exactly yet we're not hitting the numbers quite yet for a recession but that means that interest rates will go back down because that's our trend. That is cyclical real estate. It constantly happens and they go hand in hand. Inventory, interest rates go hand in hand. Prices, interest rates go hand in hand. So interest rates go down, prices and inventory or prices go up, inventory goes down. Interest rates go up, inventory goes up, prices go down. That's what it is. And that's what we go off of. So again, is it the right time to buy? It all depends on your situation. If you are capable and able to do so, if you're financially set and you feel comfortable doing so, absolutely. Go find your dream home. You have your choice of homes now at a lower price. Interest rate, of course, is a little bit higher, but you can refinance in the coming years. So while not anyone knows what's going to happen to the real estate market. You can still, you can still follow the trends and still follow the facts. And that's something we have to do because if we rely on the what ifs, oh, I'm going to wait until the market goes down. I'm going to wait until the interest rates go down. They go hand in hand. So it's, it's so hard to time the market exactly perfect. So you have to decide in the now instead of just waiting. Now, if you have any questions or you have any comments or rebuttals about this, please, let's have a conversation and let's talk it out because that's what we can do is talk out, look at the facts like I just showed you in that picture and then go from there. Have an awesome day, guys, and stay strong and keep up on the industry.